Hello and welcome to another episode of TechBeat. Today what I'm going to cover is how to check the file checksums when you're downloading uh, your file. And basically what will happen is it's a good way that you can check its integrity um, and if the file checksums don't match up then you can maybe assume that the file's either been corrupted or compromised so you know you want to check that again now when i've done a search online you generally get two things either that you have to generate the file hash and then you're comparing or checking it manually which is a bit tedious because the checksum's quite long uh, or the second option which is using powershell ice now that's not ideal because if you want to do it regularly then you know you don't want to be doing that option so hopefully I'm going to change that, give you an easier, quicker, simpler and more accurate way of doing it. And hopefully that will encourage you to keep doing them as regularly as possible. Now, the caveat for this video is that I'm using um, a Windows system um, because I need PowerShell to do it. If you want me to cover it on another operating system, let me know in the comments. And if I get enough requests, then I will certainly consider and take a look at it. But for now, we're going to stick to PowerShell and Windows. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to go into VirtualBox and as you can see, here's the download uh, files and underneath it, it says the file checksums are available. Now as VirtualBox rightly says, you know, you should be checking using SHA-256 checksums as they're generally more secure than MD5 ones. So that's what we're going to do today. Now to download the Windows Virtual Hosts, um, virtual box you just click that here I've downloaded it just before the video so I've got a fresh copy so I can demonstrate how to do this in the video so the manual way is what I'm going to show you first and then you can see the difference what you do is type get file hash you then put the path in and a quick tip here you don't actually have to type it all out you can actually just drag it across so the virtual box that I downloaded a moment ago is in my desktop so I can just drag that across here there you go much more simpler way and quicker to do that we then put dash algorithm there we go so I've got the algorithm as SHA-256 as we mentioned earlier if we press enter on that there you can see it's generated the file hash which is this value here if we want to compare this what we would do is go over to the checksums that VirtualBox gives us We'd look for the Windows executable, which is there, and we'd probably just copy and paste that into PowerShell as follows. So here what we'd do is we'd either probably just check the beginning, middle, or end, and most people just assume the rest is fine, which is probably not the best way of doing it. You should be checking every character to confirm it's retained its integrity. But I appreciate that probably just gets a bit tedious, hence why I'm doing this video. Now, if we just get rid of this and bring up the previous command, I'll now show you the easy way. So we'll just go to the beginning. We'll open the bracket. We can actually just get rid of path parameter and just leave that in there. For the algorithm, we can just stick to a capital A for algorithm. And then we can close the bracket. Type in hash dash eq. So this is what we're telling PowerShell is I'm saying, can you get the file hash of this file, which is the one that I downloaded, apply the SHA-256 hash, and can you check or compare or equal eq to this value here, which virtual box is telling me the value it should be and when I press enter you'll get the boolean value so it'll either be true or false now in this case it's saying true so PowerShell is confirming the hash value that it's generated from this file and the one that virtual box has given us are exactly the same so what we can also do we can just check what it would look like if it was wrong so as it's boolean it'd say false so let's just check that we're going to just change one single character and just change that C to a T. And if we press enter, see it now says false. Let's demonstrate it again. We'll change the T to a Y. It says false. 
And if we just put it back to the correct value, which was C, there you can see it says true. So that is the easiest, simplest, quickest, and most accurate way of comparing file checksums. So it not only generates it for you, but it also compares it for you in less than a few seconds. So hopefully that encourages you to keep on doing this and you know make sure that what you are downloading is what's actually downloaded onto your system. Especially if the tool is something that is privacy or security focused, you'll certainly wanna be doing this as often as possible. Hope you found this video useful. And if you did like it, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any queries, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.